Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Today I'm back at the church parking lot, and I was talking about that FMS Zero, so I thought I'd bring it out here to fly today. And I brought that uh, Esheen Mini Mustang. Man, I had so much fun with that yesterday after the video. I just kept flying it. Man, I probably flew it for a half hour. It's got some serious long flight times. But anyways, I brought out the Zero to see how I could handle that. The Esheen flew so great yesterday, I was like, maybe I'll try the FMS Zero again. We do have a little bit of wind coming from the, the tall grass over here. So I'm hoping for a decent flight. We're going to take off into the wind and see how it goes. I see lots of guys hopping on. I do appreciate all the support, guys. Just having a good time with these little airplanes. Um, so happy to to have something I can just toss in the car and run out here real quick. So let's get one of these in the air, and then we'll fly the other one, and we'll see how that all works out. That Ishin airplane is supposed to be half the size of the FMS Zero. I got the Zero ready to go. The Ushin's ready to go too. Just I have to pick the radio up when we land this one. I'm gonna go full elevator to get it rolling. Timer start. There we go. She's in the air. And if I remember right, what I said last time was to fly at full speed. I am. I'm somewhere between three quarters on full speed right now. And I can tell you without like safe or gyros, it's handling better than the Esheen. Now, I don't have any gyros and I don't have a smart receiver in here. In fact, there's really, uh, I'm not sure it's got enough room for like a 636 receiver from Spectrum. I have the A620, I think it is, AR620, and it's the push button one with no antennas, and it basically fills the whole the whole space, um, possibly. But then there's even a chance it would throw off the CG, so. I am flying this on a thousand milliamp hour 2S battery. You can see it's handling pretty good. I was trying to do a loop, but then I decided to bail. We'll get it way up above us. Woo! That was a lot closer to that lamp post than I wanted to be. So maybe not do that again. Get it down here. There we go. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I saved that. I slowed it down and broke my own rule. I've been saying over and over, don't slow down. And what did I do? I slowed down. So <laughs> like I said, this one is is a bit of a handful, but I can tell you. If you're in advanced mode on the Esheen, it is even harder to fly than this. But it's got beginner mode and it's got a, a middle level that are both way easier than this thing. Uh, the price point, I think I saw this on uh, Horizon Hobbies website in stock for $99. That doesn't come with a receiver batteries are a transmitter it does have all the servos and the motor installed and it's not too hard to put together now the Zsheen Mini uh, P51 it comes with everything you need to fly and is ready to fly straight out of the box I mean there's nothing to put together all you got to do is charge up a battery and you're ready to go so this is going to be a bit of a handful to bring in for the landing. Let's bring it around and see if we can get a nice touchdown. 
Keep it going through the turn. Now backing off as we level the wings out. Zero throttle. Oh, not too bad. So that did take me however many flights that I've done with this airplane to get to that point. But we got it on the ground safely. And uh, it'll be able to fly another day. Now I can't. This transmitter doesn't have anywhere to hook on, but it is pretty light. So uh, the P-51 doesn't really need something to hold it up. So this one, just like my other P-51, you got to move the throttle all the way up and then all the way back down to arm the ESC. And then my other P-51 actually is the same way. Uh, it's just got something to do with the speed controller and just like that it's in the air and uh, my buddy Nate uh, sailor in his video he always is doing the, the no hands thing there you go no hands I mean it's pretty soft I mean we got a decent amount of wind right now too and I mean that's just telling you how well it's handling in the wind so We'll slow it down about quarter to half throttle. You can see the gyros are working because the wind is blowing. And then let's turn it around here using the rudder and the ailerons. Slowing it down. And we got more wind than we had yesterday, but still, man, this thing, super cool just going through the wind like nothing I'm in the beginner mode now I, I was playing around with it trying to figure out what the difference was between the middle level and uh, the beginner mode and the difference is how much elevator you got so this is beginner mode full throttle and elevator all the way up that's it it was a pretty decent amount going into the wind it was climbing pretty steady but if I go to the middle level here we go it still flies almost exactly the same but when I bring it back around here you're gonna see what I can do here we go full throttle and elevator you see it'll do a loop it's unlimited on the elevator at that point so it won't roll it's got the same controls that's all the aileron maybe a little bit tighter with the turns but for the most part it's no different with the ailerons just with that but then there's that aerobatic button and so you don't really even have to get out of this level you can be flying along pretty decent like this and get a roll just by just by hitting that button and picking a direction. So pretty decent. Now it'll still do the loop for you if you want it to, you don't, but you really don't need to. You just pull up and it'll do it all day long. Pretty amazing. Now like, I'm not even gonna put it in advance because it does get really squirrely. It's like turning the gyros completely off and when you got such a small airplane, and this much wind you're almost asking for it let's put it back in beginner and bring it back around I really like getting this one creeping in the air get it up here really nice and close it's so much fun to fly around I did this quite a while in fact I flew one of the batteries clear to I think is what the end point and we might not be able to tell in this wind, but what it does is it kind of flutters and then the motor quits when you get to the end of the battery. And so we don't want to reach that point because it dives pretty quick. You still have control of all the control surfaces, but it's better to get a controlled landing with some throttle. You need a little bit of throttle to smooth it out. Now I did try, the wind changed direction several times on me yesterday. And if you try to land with the wind, this thing goes on the nose pretty quick. 
and it, it tries to tip forward if you try to take off without that extra wind into the nose. There's a touch and go. Man, this is just, it's like night and day between FMS and this E-Sheen. It just flies that much better. Super low. That's That right there is, is probably the, my funnest thing to do. The funnerest is to get it down there nice and low and just creep along the ground without touching. We'll bring it in for the landing just like that. Super easy. I'll probably continue to fly after the video. Guys, I can't wait to fly that F4U. It's going to be so much fun. And, uh, guys, I'm just, I can't believe these little airplanes. I can't wait to get the timber, uh, turbo timber back out here, the little UMX, and fly it around some more. But this e Sheen seems like such a much better deal. You get three batteries with it and the controller, everything you need. And it is just flying incredible. Now the Turbo Timber UMX flies great too, but it doesn't come with batteries or controller. I mean, I don't know. It just kind of depends what kind of money you have. If that UMX Turbo Timber is a great airplane. It could probably take off with some short grass where none of these are gonna do that. So, man, I just haven't had a great time today, even though we got a decent amount of wind. I do appreciate all you guys watching and supporting the channel. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. We did pass the 770 mark today. Super happy about that. We're going to be at the 1000 before you know it. Guys, if you're interested in that e-sheen, I should have all the links down in the description box. Um, I didn't link the FMS. I don't suggest it. Unless you already got it, learn to fly it and have fun with it. But I really don't see a market for it for people that are good enough to fly it. Should want something better like the Turbo Timber or something. If you just happen to love Zeros, the FMS 800mm is a super cheap option that you can get and put on your shelf. But as soon as you fly it, you're going to have some dings in it. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Until next time. I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.